Welcome collectors and diecast enthusiasts. Thank you so much for joining me for a brand new edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new, newly released 150th scale Weiss Brothers Merzberger Utility Trailers. Now the Weiss Brothers have been kind enough to send me a color sample of each so that you guys can see what's out there in the market for you. As you can see, there is a aluminum silver version, a white version, a red version, and a black version. And of course you can tell that because you can see the stickers on the end of the box flaps that you are currently looking at now. That's the only way to identify what box has what in it because the box packaging design and artwork is identical no matter what color is inside aside from the sticker. So for the unboxing, let's stick with the aluminum silver version. Now these trailers currently are available from WeissBrothers.us for $39.95. To unbox this, very simple. Pick a side flap, pop it open. There is, there are no twist ties, no tape, nothing that you have to cut. The trailer is nicely housed into plastic formers. All you have to do, lift the model out, take it out, you're ready to display it with no assembly required. Okay, let's go on with the feature part of this video. So as I said in the introduction, these were manufactured and sold based on the trailers by Merzberger Trailer World, which is located somewhat close to the Weiss Brothers in Hilbert, Wisconsin. The first feature that you will notice immediately on this trailer is that they are predominantly made from die-cast construction, and the model has a pretty hefty weight to it, which is always good to see. Also, if you look towards the front of the trailer, I'll put my hand behind it. That seems to help in some lighting situations, but you can see the hitch here. These have been engineered and scaled to link up perfectly with the Sword F-250 pickup trucks. Stay tuned. Towards the end of this video, I will show you how these trailers link up with the Sword pickup truck and also with the First Gear 250 pickup truck. And then finally, we'll conclude the video with showing some compact equipment loads on the trailer, just so that you can get an idea of what some pieces of small models would look like on here. There's also plastic wood decking on here. And honestly, it's done to perfection. I have nothing to complain about. You can see the high quality wood grain finish on there with the different colors of the timber and wood on it. Gives it an authentic wood deck finish to it. The tires are rubber and they will roll freely. The last feature of the trailer is that it has a detailed non-functioning toolbox. Okay, let's turn our attention now to functions. Again, first thing you'll notice are the fold down ramps. Not only do the ramps fold down so that you can load equipment onto the back of the trailer, but you'll probably notice these two black little bolts here, and those essentially allow you to extend or retract the width of the ramps. So if you have a compact track loader, for example, or a mini excavator, you can more realistically pose that machine being loaded onto this trailer. So once you have your machine on the deck of this trailer, you then take the locking rods seen here, and I'll show you how to do this here. You take the locking rod, and there's a little nub on the end of the ramp, hook it over, push it in, and now it's locked. Again, for time's sake, I'm not gonna do the other side, but you just repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, that's the silver version. I'll now show you the black version, and for this one, I'll demonstrate what it looks like to have both the ramps up with the locking rods in. So there you go. Again, they can be a little bit finicky, so you want to be a little bit patient with it. But once you get the locking rods on, they are very rewarding and gives it a realistic profile. So you've seen silver, you've seen black. Here is the white version. White, in particular, really brings out the detail of the DOT striping and lines on the trailer, as you can see. And last, but certainly not least, my personal favorite, the red version. Okay, you'd think we'd be done with functionality, but we are not. This trailer has one more trick up its sleeve, 
And that is a lowering foot pad. To do that, you can see that I now have it up to a height where it would be level with a pickup truck. But if you wanted to display this by itself in your yard, you simply twist down. We'll go down to about here. And now the trailer is essentially level with itself. And you can display the trailer without a truck behind it. There you go. That is the details and the features and functions of these trailers. Got to say, guys, without question, these are a no-brainer. Again, you can pick them up now from WeissBrothers.us. Each of these trailers are more or less $40 US each. So good value for the money. Weiss Brothers is also offering combo sets. So if you did not get a chance to get a Ford F-250 pickup by Sword, you can now pick up a combo set featuring a Sword pickup of your choice with a trailer of your choice. All right, let's see how these align. So we have the red pickup truck out. Let's use the red trailer. You can see here that they sit and line up perfectly. And it rolls freely and will stay connected. So that's the Sword F-250. If you don't yet have one of those in your collection, but you do have a first gear F-250, don't let that be the reason that you don't buy one of these trailers because I'm happy to report that these trailers will line up and hook up perfectly with the first gear F-250 as well. All right, last part of the video, as promised, let me demonstrate what the trailer looks like with some compact equipment on it. We will start with a really, really compact piece of equipment. It is the Vermeer CTX 100. There you go. Perhaps this trailer is a bit overkill, even for this small of a machine. We'll go up in size just a bit to the Caterpillar 242D skid steer loader. Again, very convincing load on there. Looks very good. We have long in the collector community wanted trailers for compact equipment. We now have them. How about a compact track loader? The Caterpillar 252D. We can deliver. There you go. And last but certainly not least of the samples I have readily available for you, the CAT 301.7 CR Mini Excavator. All right, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section be uh, below. Again, huge thank you to my friends at Weiss Brothers for sending over uh, not only a sample, but four samples, one of each of these colors, so that you guys can see each of them, what they look like on camera, so that you can make an informed decision on which one you want to add to your collection. It really doesn't matter, in my opinion, which color you choose. These trailers are all made really, really of top quality materials, and they will look perfectly behind your sword pickup trucks with your compact equipment on it. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.